Hey everyone, Dr. Nelson here. This is a brief lesson on something called slope inter intercept form. All right. So what we're going to do on the first page of your uh, notes, I want you to follow along with me, please. So, so take notes on this. And then on the next page, there's a few problems for you to try. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So first of all, what exactly is slope intercept form? All right. Um, you're going to become very familiar with this equation here. Y equals MX plus B. And this is like a way of writing equations. And certain parts of this equation tells you about the, the graph. Okay. So for example, this B value, whatever number that is, that is the Y intercept of the graph. Y intercept. Okay. So that's the location on the Y axis where the line will actually touch the Y axis. All right. Now the other big one is the M value. The M value, that's the value of the slope when the equation is written in slope intercept form. All right. So the B value is the Y intercept and the M value is the slope. All right. So take a look at this equation right here. All right. This one Y equals one half X plus four is already written in slope intercept form. So can you tell what the M value is going to be? It's a number right before the X. So let's take a look and it's one half. So the slope is going to be one half. And then can you tell the Y intercept? The Y intercept is going to be four. And there it is. All right. So just by looking at this graph, you don't have to graph it. You can just determine that the slope is going to be one half and the Y intercept is going to be four. All right. Now the next step is knowing how to transform an equation into slope intercept form. So notice this one here, two X plus Y equals three. This is not written in this format. Okay. The, the Y needs to be all by itself. So to do that, I'm not, I'm not going to take away two X from both sides. And now we have Y is going to equal negative two X plus oops, that's a plus sign <laughs> plus three. All right. Now this equation is written in slope intercept form. So because of that, you can figure out what the slope is going to be and what the Y intercept is going to be. All right. So the slope remember, is the value in front of the X. So in this case, it's going to be negative two. And the Y intercept is the B value, which in this case is going to be the positive three. All right. Take a look at the, the last one here. We have three X plus four Y equals eight. And just like the previous problem, this is not written in slope intercept form. So we have to transform it. So that Y is all by itself. So I'm going to first take away three X from both sides. All right. So now we have four times Y equals negative three X plus eight. And last notice, this is four times Y. So I'm going to divide both sides by four. So every part of this is going to be divided by four. All right, I'm going to continue, continue over here now. All right. So now when these fours cancel out, Y is now going to equal negative three fourths X plus, well, let's see, eight divided by four is, is two. All right. Now this equation is now written in slope intercept form. So you can figure out what the slope is going to be and what the y, y intercept is going to be. So in this case, the slope is going to be negative three fourths. And the Y intercept is going to be positive two. All right. So being familiar with this equation, Y equals MX plus B, is going to help you out later on uh, when you solve for systems of equations and other aspects of algebra. All right, so will you please try the problems on the next page? Uh, so pause the video, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, let's see how you did with these problems here. All right, so for this first problem, we have the equation y equals 5x plus 3. All right. And notice this is our already written in that slope intercept form, right? Which is nice. So because it is, we can immediately figure out what the slope is 
and also what the y-intercept is. All right, so number one, what is the slope of the above equation? All right, so remember, the m value is a slope. So in this case, it's going to be 5. What is the y-intercept of the above equation? That's the b value, right? So in this case, it's going to be 1. And then is the above equation written in slope-intercept form? Uh, answer that question already, because the answer is yes. All right. 4, 5, and 6 transform each equation into slope intercept form. All right, so again, every one of these equations needs to be rewritten in this format. All right, so this first one, take away x from both sides, and we get y equals negative x plus 2. Uh, number 5, first need to take away 3x from both sides, right? So now we have 6y equals negative 3x plus 12. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6. This is really messy, but you get the idea. And so now when we do this, it's going to be y equals negative 1 half x. And then 12 divided by 6 is plus 2. All right, last but not least, we have 5x plus 10y equals 20. So for this one, we're going to take away 5x from both sides. And we get 10y equals negative 5x plus 20. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And when we do that, we get y equals negative 1 half x plus 2 which is the same equation as above. All right, how'd you do?